joining us for this evening's ceremony. My name is Tanishka Talagadadivi, president of the class of 2019. Please rise for the presentation of the colors and our national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Senior members of the Eagle Heirs, please join the ensemble.
celebrate our achievements and our dedication to our education. When we were in elementary school, people used to ask us what our dream jobs were. Many of us wanted to be astronauts, professional athletes, doctors, actors, teachers, performers. From the time I was young, I knew I wanted to be president. In first grade, my multi-age class wrote speeches about what we would do as president. I wrote about many things in my speech, but the central theme remained the same. I wanted to help people. That assignment was so much more than just classwork to me. It was a goal, a dream. Being class president has meant more to me than many of you may understand. There was once a little girl who dreamed with no limitations and wanted to be a leader. And thanks to you, she got to fulfill that dream. Despite the many ups and downs through the years, being your class president has been an incredible honor. And I hope I've done my part in making our time here a little bit brighter. Along the way, there are many people who have made my world much brighter. I would like to thank my friends for their everlasting support. I'd like to thank our executive committee for their constant dedication. As a class, we owe our teachers an appreciation. Teachers, your jobs have never been easy, but you truly made an impact on all of our lives, whether it was by pushing us in our classwork or listening to our many problems throughout the day. Most importantly, I would like to thank my parents and my brother who have supported me unconditionally my entire life. Whether it was tolerating the screeches from my violin, running back and forth between softball practice, or staying up late to help me finish a project, you were always there. That is a debt I will never be able to repay, but I promise I will spend every day trying. People often ask me to describe the best thing about our class in one word. I often have a hard time choosing among dedicated, competitive, passionate, spirited, energetic. Those words always run through my head, but looking back now, after all this time, I realize that an adjective does not describe our class. It's a verb. We try. We try to make things better than what they once were. We try new things. We try to be better people. We try to build a better future for the world we live in. Our generation is no, is no stranger to the trials and tribulations of the real world. Surely, in this last chapter of high school, you've all heard a lot about the real world. The adults in our lives have warned us about the boogeyman that is Father Time and how the passage of time will reveal the world's ugliness. Many people claim that our generation sees the world through rose-colored glasses, but I'm here to remind everyone that this simply isn't true. Our generation knows the real world. Although we may be young, and although we haven't experienced every conflict out there, you don't need experience to empathize. In the technologically driven world of today, there's no hiding from the truth. Allow me to be candid. The truth is ugly. The truth is poverty, mental illness, global warming, human rights, drug crises, student debt, and a multitude of other issues. We've been exposed to the truth since we were young, and many of us feared it. But now, with nothing but the future ahead of us, we finally have our shot to try facing our fears by speaking our minds and being change makers. Making change happen on a wide scale is an uphill battle. People will doubt you. They'll question your methods, and they'll resist change. But we have to try. It's what we do best. When we aren't happy with the world around us, we take a stand. We have never been the type to sit back and wait for things to get done. We made change happen every day in everything we did, and that's why I think our class is so unique. I won't pretend like the past four years have been easy on any of us. Between late night cram sessions, AP exams, musicals, plays, sports, clubs, work, volunteering, and anything else you could possibly squeeze into your schedule, these four years have been hectic. Nevertheless, we pushed through. And along the way, whether you like to admit it or not, we had some fun. From our freshman formal to our trip to Six Flags, Wish Week and Pep Rallies to our first homecoming dance in sophomore year, 48 total hours of mini-thon to many nights spent in Blue Crew cheering on our teams. Yesterday, we were the first class to do a graduation walk, which we now hope will become a yearly tradition. We've always been involved in our community, and we've never given up. The road ahead of high school is still unpaved. Some of our paths may cross many times in the future. Some of our paths may never cross again. Regardless of what's next for you, I encourage each and every one of you to never forget your roots. Never forget how to work hard. Never forget how to speak up. Never forget to try everything within reason. And of course, never forget to have fun. 
I sincerely wish all of you nothing but the best in life. I hope to see you all succeed and find happiness. Good luck on the rest of your journey, and I'll see you when our paths cross again. Thank you, and congratulations, Eagles. So, um, actually, before I start, um, as you can say, Mr. Keebler, you said you probably wouldn't remember my speech because you're using pretty generic. Um, I can't promise mine that is like the most unique speech ever, but like hopefully you'll remember me now, Mr. Keebler. <laughs> All right. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and of course, my fellow graduates of the class of 2019. My name is Michelle Wong, and it is my honor to stand here before you as salutatorian. I want to take a moment to thank everyone that has made it possible for us to be here today. Thank you to the teachers and staff that made our lives easier, even when we made yours harder. Thank you to our parents and our families who supported us every step of the way. And thank you to our friends and classmates who suffered right along with us. We were obligatory high school's musical reference, all in this together. I also want to extend a special thank you to my friends and family. All of you have influenced me for the better, and you are the reason why I am able to stand here on stage today. And to my teachers, tutors, and mentors, thank you for taking the time to make sure I wasn't making a fool of myself, including when I came to the speech. Which, by the way, I had to be reminded several times that it wasn't a homework assignment and therefore not an essay. And to the several people who wanted me to give them a shout out in my speech, hi, you know who you all are. So, speaking of friends, we've learned a lot in these past four years together. It still feels like yesterday, our innocent little baby faced freshman selves walking into high school, all excited to be with the big kids. And then high school happened. From attempting to navigate the confusing maze that is our school on our first day, to the freshman formal, to the sophomore class trip to Six Flags, to prom, and now to graduation. It doesn't seem like much time has passed, does it? Or maybe it feels like it's been a million years, or both, at the same time. But let me put these four years into perspective. In 2015, we saw Pluto for the first time and argued whether or not Starbucks red cups were Christmassy enough. In 2016, Vine died and Donald Trump was elected president. In 2017, there was a mix-up at the Oscars between La La Land and Moonlight, and we saw a solar eclipse. In 2018, last year, Residents of Hawaii breathed the sigh of relief when they were informed they weren't going to be wiped off the face of this earth. Also, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had a royal wedding. In 2019, we started the year off with the continuation of the longest government shutdown in US history. And in April, the Notre Dame Cathedral burned down. Be honest, how many of you totally forgot any of this happened? Including all of the stuff that happened less than six months ago. Yeah, that's what I thought, because I know I did too. <laughs> but now that's all in the past. Tonight, we are here to celebrate all that we've accomplished, and it is an accomplishment. According to US News, the graduation rate at our beloved high school is about 93%. So to the people who made it here, congratulations on four years of hard work. We're the big kids all the younger students look up to now. I know for me, and for all of us, it's been a good run. We've passed our classes, aced those standardized tests, achieved personal goals, won countless awards, and witnessed major changes in global and American history. Like Sanishka said, we are a generation of change, and change we have. We've witnessed it, we've been it, we've done it, and we will continue to do so for as long as we are here on this planet. 
As we enter the next stage of our lives, whether it's college, trade school, the military, the workforce, or a gap year, remember what you've learned and accomplished these four years. Keep that work ethic and that desire for knowledge. Keep on finding ways to improve yourself as a person. And most importantly, keep, on, keep an open mind and keep on adapting to whatever circumstances life may throw at you. As long as we take control of what we're given, I know we will succeed in our own ways. So tonight, as we stand here, or sit, I guess, know that it is time for us to live our best lives. Whatever you choose to do next, take advantage of everything you've been blessed with and make the most of your life. The best is yet to come. So as this chapter of our lives comes to a close, it's time to say our salutations, you know, salutatorian. I like my puns. To the beginnings of fresh new stories. Thank you. Now, I would like to welcome my friend and this year's valedictorian, Noel Narvaez, to the podium. Good evening. My name is Noel Narvaez, and I am honored to serve as the Exeter class of 2019's valedictorian. I would like to begin by congratulating my fellow graduates. We did it. Four years of early mornings, heaps of homework, and last minute study sessions have finally paid off, and pretty soon we will be able to call ourselves Exeter alums. We learned about biology, had to pass those keystones after all, wrote a ton of essays, reviewed history and the structure of our government, solved for X too many times to count, and identified more rocks and minerals than I'll ever need to know. Sorry, Mr. Keebler. This class also shined outside of the classroom. Sitting among us are strong athletes, gifted musicians, and individuals dedicated to serving our community. Overall, the class of 2019 is one of the most driven and talented groups of graduates Exeter Township has ever seen, and I'm proud to be a part of it. As cliche as it may sound, I'm confident that we members of this class have bright futures ahead of us. Whether you're going into college, the military, or the workforce, are staying local or moving across the country, we are taking ourselves and bits of each other and spreading them around, exposing them to new people, places, and experiences. For most of us, our futures aren't going to go exactly as we currently envision them. Sorry to break to you guys, but I heard Dunder Mifflin isn't hiring anymore. And that's okay. In a few years, many of us will occupy jobs that don't even exist yet. Whether your personal plan A remains steadfast and reliable enough to outline your whole life, or you go through enough plans to use every letter of the alphabet twice, it is up to each of us as individuals to make what we can out of ourselves and our lives. After all, in the wise words of Dr. Seuss, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. I am pleased to see so many people joining this class on our special night. Without the support of all the family, friends, and faculty in attendance, none of us could have made it to this point. Also, on behalf of my class, I thank the musicians performing tonight, the marshals volunteering their time, the readers, and everyone who put time into planning this event, because without your efforts, we could not be here celebrating ours. Personally, I would like to thank my fellow graduates, classmates, and friends. From SNAP groups to group projects, we did this together, and I could not think of another body of students I would rather have by my side. I would like to thank my teachers from my first few years at Lorraine Elementary School to my last semester of high school for instilling in me a love of learning and for pushing me to the edges of my potential along the way. I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of my teammates, specifically my distance running buddies, you know who you are, for showing levels of dedication, sportsmanship, and faith in each other that exceeded anything I could have imagined when I joined the distance program my freshman year. You guys made the miles worth it, accomplished amazing things this year, and have bright futures ahead of you in and out of your running careers. 
I would also like to thank my family and friends who came from near and far for coming here tonight and for helping to shape me into the person I am today. And most importantly, I would like to thank my parents and my brother Kevin. My mom and dad epitomize hard work every day of their lives and have given me my core values. And my little brother is almost always able to make me laugh. I could not be here without their constant care and support. As I begin to wrap this up, let me leave you with this. You may not be the person who cures cancer, the person who solves the issue of global warming, wins a gold medal at the Olympics, or becomes president of the United States. But you could be their elementary school teacher, their parent, or their friend. You could build their house, fix their car, or treat them when they are seven years old and have the flu. You could have a short conversation with them in the back of a bus, or even just smile at them on the street. A smile from a stranger can change someone's day. A random conversation is enough to really make someone think, and we'd all be in pretty bad shape without doctors and nurses to care for us when we're sick. The mentorships of teachers, family, and lifelong friends have the potential to make lifelong impacts on us and the paths we take in our lives. We are a sum of our interactions, big and small. These connections drawn between us allow the effects of one seemingly insignificant action to cascade into an almost incomprehensible stream of others. Maybe you hold the door for someone who is still halfway up the staircase and they are able to get to their car without dropping anything they made in art class that day. Maybe you give an encouraging high five to a runner and it's their first 5K and because of you they are able to finish the race and accomplish that goal they've been working toward for the past two months. Or maybe you let a car emerge in front of you on a construction filled road and all of a sudden a father makes it on time to his daughter's graduation ceremony. So please, Spread kindness and positivity, and remember that something small you do today could change someone else's today, tomorrow, or even their whole future. Thank you all. Graduates, the future has a lot in store for us, and I wish you all the best of luck. It is now my pleasure to introduce our principal, Mr. Campbell. Thanks, Noel. Eagles, you look great. Good evening, board members, Dr. Phillips, Dr. Winters, colleagues from the high school and all of our district's buildings, parents, and most importantly, Exeter Township Senior High School, class of 2019. In the 13 years since you found your way into kindergarten, your teachers, your coaches, your club advisors, your mentors in your lives in and outside of school have all worked alongside you to help you grow into the people who proudly sit as a class of soon-to-be graduates. For the entirety of your lives, your parents have been there, making the sacrifices necessary to give you every parent's wish that wish that their child had more opportunity and success than they did. So on behalf of all of those people who have given you so much over the course of your lives, I'm here to give you a message, Eagles. We want it back. I also want to remind you that 75 years ago today, June 6, 1944, the largest military invasion in the history of the world occurred. D-Day was devastating. It came at a huge expense of material and human life. Despite those costs, it was a success. That success hinged on every man and woman involved acting on the knowledge that he or she played a much a bigger a part to a much bigger cause. D-Day was one of those many events faced by that generation. These men and women have been labeled our greatest generation. Growing up, they were tested in the economic uncertainty of the Great Depression. As young adults, they were hardened in the cauldron of war. And when peace returned, they were inspired to create a new America. An America that, although imperfect, offered greater economic and social opportunity to more people. This greatest generation saw the need to do things bigger than themselves. And that is what I expect of you as well. That is what you must give back. 
as a community, as a nation, as a world, we have plenty of challenges in front of us, some of which Tanishka mentioned. And I can't think of a more talented and capable group of people to step up and address them. So as the sun sets on one greatest generation, I believe it will also rise on the next greatest generation. Class of 2019, we are proud of you and expect excellence. Good luck, Eagles. Dr. Phillips, it is my honor to present you the 64th graduating class of Exeter Township Senior High School. The members of the class of 2019 have met the requirements set forth by the Exeter Township School District and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and it is my recommendation that they receive their diplomas as representation of their hard work, determination, and commitment. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Robert Phillips, Superintendent of Exeter Township School District. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. I also want to extend a warm welcome to all the family, friends, alumni, school board members, administrators, teachers, staff, and students in attendance here tonight, as well as a special welcome to the graduating class of 2019. Mr. Campbell mentioned your past 13 years. I want to take some time to talk about what has happened to you over those 13 years. I want to talk tonight about the concept of change. If I'm going to talk about change, we need to agree on the definition. Therefore, I looked up the definition of change in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Actually, I Googled it. I guess I could have also just asked Alexa or Siri how things have changed. One definition of change that spoke to me to make radically different to transform. That seemed to sound right for tonight, just not the radical part. So I ask you, how have you transformed? Among many other ways, you are older, you are wiser, and you have become responsible young adults. You are now ready to set out on your path, whatever that path may be. You may even be living on your own for the first time. If you will be doing your laundry for the first time, a quick tip. Don't mix your whites and colors. I found out about that the hard way. I want to go back to that word transform in the definition of change. I felt the need to go deeper, so I googled the definition of the word transform. The definition of transform that somewhat fit for tonight, to change in character or condition to convert. Throughout your time at Exeter, you have changed and developed your character. It was not just all about academics. You have formed your personal views about many things. You have developed your agency. Never lose that aspect of yourself. The senior class has experienced many things in the past few years. Things have happened in our world that have forced you to look deep within and develop your value system. While it is certainly worthwhile to consider differing viewpoints, always remember to stay strong and steadfast to your core beliefs. The word convert in the definition of transform didn't seem to fit. So I googled the definition of convert. I saw a definition of convert that made more sense to me. To change from one form or function to another. That definition made me think about a butterfly. Bear with me, it will all make sense. I thought about the four stages of butter, four stages butterflies go through in their life. So let's take that journey together. You, be you began your career in kindergarten. It is kind of like the egg stage. It is the start of life. Then you moved on to elementary school, similar to the larva stage or caterpillar stage. You spent the day, much like a caterpillar, crawling around looking for something to eat, and you just grew up too quickly. Then came the pupa or chrysalis stage. Many refer to this as the coolest stage. Just like a butterfly, you thought you were now cool. 
You were no longer in elementary school. You had made it. You were in the junior high. Just like what happens when the chrysal within the chrysalis stage, you tried to look calm on the outside, but on the inside, all the action was happening. You were dealing with a lot of stuff. Finally, you made it to the high school. The adult butterfly in you really started to take shape. You took your time as you emerged from the pupa. As individuals, you each took what time you needed to strengthen your wings and to master the art of flying. You started your life back in kindergarten as that egg. Tonight, you are ready to leave as adult butterflies and search out your path in life. Tonight, your life's journey is just beginning. I wish you all the best in your chosen path. Go forth, the beautiful butterflies you have all become. Fly strong, fly proud, and to steal a line from the Steve Miller Band, fly like an eagle. And now, Mr. Campbell, I accept the class of 2019 for graduation, and I proudly present this class for final acceptance to the president of the Exeter Township School District Board of School Directors, Dr. David Hamburger. Thank you, Dr. Phillips. And on behalf of the Exeter Township Board of School Directors, I extend a most sincere welcome and congratulations to the proud families and friends of the class of 2019 in attendance this evening. So no graduation would be complete without a review and appreciation of the years of instruction and educational experience that each of our graduating students has received. The time spent in the care of our professional staff has exposed students not only to academics, fine and practical arts and extracurriculars, but has taught them a, a diverse array of personal skills, how to be empathetic, how to collaborate and think independently, how to live peacefully and in consideration of others. As a result, our graduates are uniquely prepared to complete, compete successfully in an exciting and an increasingly complex interconnected world that will require these diverse skills and more. I recently picked up a copy of President John Kennedy's book, Profiles in Courage, uh, written in 1957 while Kennedy was still a senator from Massachusetts. His writings profiled the character of several great American statesmen and the courage demonstrated by men of integrity who were caught in a net of adverse circumstances. In reading about these historical figures, great men like Daniel Webster, John Quincy Adams, Sam Houston, and others, I was reminded that our individual principles, our integrity of character, our courage, were among our most valuable assets, and assets that are best cultivated early in life through guided experiences and schooling. At Exeter, our educators model and shape these behaviors and they demonstrate to students how to use sound judgment, how to apply one's values and principles in making decisions, how to collaborate and work with others. These are important and essential life skills, and their instruction has been part of the fabric of Exeter's diverse school curriculum since elementary school. Obviously, academics, knowledge, they're important. But understanding how to work with others, how to develop and sustain interpersonal relationships, how to live ethically and purposefully, these traits of character are critical if we're gonna survive and prosper as a nation. As our graduates rise to accept their diplomas and take our place in society and in the workplace, will depend on them to apply their full complement of knowledge, creativity, and personal principles and courage to address and remedy our most existential, social, 
environmental and technical problems. To paraphrase President John Kennedy, the torch has passed along to a new generation of Americans. So class of 2019, we honor and congratulate you on your accomplishments. And as you take your steps into a world beyond Exeter High School, we offer our best wishes. We look forward to your successes and we will rely on your positive impact and your contributions in whatever endeavor you have elected to pursue. Mr. Campbell, thank you. With the approval of our district superintendent, Dr. Phillips, you have prepared and submitted to the school board a list of seniors who have met the district standards and the Pennsylvania State Board requirements for graduation. Therefore, on behalf of the Exeter Township Board of School Directors, I now accept the recommendation for the class of 2019 to graduate. Good evening. My name is Karen Algio. I teach autistic support at Jackson Wald Elementary. Good evening. My name is Danielle Drapina. I teach second grade at Awatton Creek Elementary. It is our pleasure to introduce to you the following graduates. Jonathan Taylor Bradford. Colin Dubstadt. Alexis Marie Adam. Brad Corbin Adam. My daughter, Lindsay Victoria Algio. Lucas A. Adamchek. Amel Ali Miriam. Abel Porfirio Almonte. Janessa Gabriel Angelo. Tapri Kenneth Anderson Williams. Zoe, Zoe S. 
bar none. Anthony W. Barraclough. Kaylee Ann Baxter. Shane A. Bartle. Ariana M. Bignati. Ian R. Bechtel. Alyssa N. Bentliff. Benjamin Ryan Bame. Kayleen Borzillo. Connor M. Bone. Jane M. Bossler. Brandon T. Borton. Abigail L. Bowman. Ricardo Alva Cispedes. Elizabeth K. Boyer. Jason William Kristoff. Gabriella Boyer. Kelly W. Cox. Ryan E. Breton. Kevin Joseph Creamer. Courtney L. Brickle. Logan Hong Din. Kelsey M. Brubaker. Dominic Julian DeStefano. Sarah Elizabeth Perrion. Sebastian Alexander DeStefano. Emma M. Cloak. Nicholas David Dorn. Shiloh R. Coffey. Matthew Ryan Dockerty. Jasmine Cologne Cruz. Jacob A. Dunst. Jayla Corchado. Jacob Eames Hansen. Gabriella K. Kroll. Carson N. Endy. Allison B. Krieger. Roland J. Ensminger. Ashley Dion Daniels. Alec J. Irvin. Rebecca Anastasia Danko. Good evening. My name is Nina Dileski. I teach music at Lorraine and Jacksonwald Elementary Schools. Good evening. My name is Micah Albright, and I teach orchestra at both the junior and senior high schools. It is our pleasure to introduce to you the following graduates. Mackenzie E. DeFries. DJ Irick. Jillian K. R. DeBru. Matthew A. Feeney. Lauren J. Drager. 
David Michael Filippello. Emily D. Dunning. Thomas J. Fisher. Deja Z. Edmonds. Jacob M. Forbes. Jacqueline N. Espenson. Eric C. Gavrilovich. Allison Angeline Fazig. Derek D. Gearhart. Amanda M. Fiucci. Colin R. Geringer. Brittany A. Fritz. Taylor D. Gohara. Hannah Nicole Freimoyer. Liam Riley Golitz. Michaela R. Gebhard Blansky. Jody R. Goodhart. Emily L. Gillespie. Nicholas S. Goy. Rebecca L. Gillespie. Gavin J. Grawl. Sydney M. Godfrey. Zachary M. Green. Emily G. Gauck. Colin E. Grogeski. Kaylin N. Grader. Chase R. Golden. Haley K. Gray. Colby S. Haig. Mackenzie E. Gray. Michael N. Haas. Nevaeh R. Greenwich. Finn M. Haney. Peyton R. Halsey. Taylor M. Harbaugh. Taylor R. Hamilton. Kevin M. Harding. Abigail M. Hassler. Jacob T. Harrington. Macy A. Hebner. Jackson T. Heath. Emily P. Heisey. Abigail R. Henry. Victoria R. Hill.
Good evening. My name is Rebecca Lapik. I teach French at the high school. Good evening. My name is Emily Zintek. I teach first grade at Lorraine Elementary School. It is our pleasure to introduce to you the following graduates. Kylie Ann Hubiak. Dylan T. Herb. Jessica Lee Hudak. Kyle Razor Holmes. Emily Nicole Ionelli. Shane O. Hoover. Yashiska Kagithapu. David B. Hutchko. Carissa Lynn Karras. Ethan R. Hyman. Andrea Jacqueline Keck. Alex J. Johnson. McKenna, McKenna Danielle Kaler. Connor J. King. Madison Noel Kine. Ross D. Curlin. Jennifer Megan Keller. Dylan T. Klopp. Kyra N. Kelsey. Riley C. Knapp. Kirsten D. King. Kyle R. Nepper. Amber L. Kincaid. Daniel Harvey Kopecki. Courtney N. Click. Peter S. Kopecki. Ariana Marie. Klein. Jack R. Leinbach. Cameron Joanne Cuck. Brett R. Leister. Emiliana Jada Landron. Ryan T. Loader. Sarah Ashley Large. Travis W. Mauger. Leah Marie LeMay. Isaiah Michael Wilson Main. Desiree Danielle Lilly. Donovan Jet McAdams. Kylie Marie Ludwig. Mason McCallagher. Elizabeth Liliana McFarlane. Samuel E. McFarland. Alejandra J. Matos Cruz. Michael F. McNish. Christina Marie McGowan. Jason Nelson Metz. Keegan 
D. Nicelli. Good evening. My name is Kelly McKinney. I teach special education at the senior high school. Good evening. My name is Mark Ricketts and I teach health and phys ed at Lorraine Elementary School. It is our pleasure to introduce to you the following graduates. My daughter, Margaret Christina McKinney. Ethan R. Miller. Amelia Alice Mennett. Josiah M. D. Minato. Julia Kate Mikalak. John Ryan Morelli. Nicole Ann Miller. Christopher L. Morrison. Siddharth B. Maparaju. Erica Marie Negron. James Anthony Murray III. Clara Frey Newcomb. Wesley Stewart Murray. Brandy M. Knoll. Duke Wynn. Kayla Jade Paul. Jai Nixon Lacey. Victoria. E. Peroni. Dylan C. O'Hara. Madison R. Parado. Giovanni Joniel Olivares. Brielle R. Potasio. Joseph Lee Page the Third. Emma K. Peterson. Nicholas J. Pnace. Madeline Phillips Price. Gavin Lee Parrish. Elizabeth Marie Prince. Jaden W. Patterson. <clears throat> Vanessa Jewel Purr. Jonathan S. Polowitz. Michelle Lynn Qualia. Michael J. Perkins. Noel Rebecca Quay. 
Toby Jackson Phillips. Hakima Hazel Rockman. Reno de Souza Pinheiro. Chelsea Ramirez. Christian M. Pochran. Nicole Ramsey. Jonathan T. Palachek. Tasha K. Randall. Vincent M. Purr. Gwyneth Rose Reed. Joseph E. Rab. And Luke. J. Rabble. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Christina Pinkerton. I teach art at the senior high school. Hello, my name is Lori Saraparu. I teach biology and environmental science at the senior high school. It is our pleasure to introduce to you the following graduates. Jackie S. Richards. C. Robert Rice, the third. Santana Elizabeth Rivera. Christian Roberts. Angie. Joanna Rivera Diaz. Joseph T. Rohrbach. Sierra C. Rodriguez. Tyler M. Rao. Caitlin N. Roper. Benjamin M. Ruth. Mallory M. Sabanis. Julian Stephan Sarlot. Jasmine E. Sam. Morgan T. Shell. Cassandra D. Scares. Cole M. Schwartz. Jocelyn E. Seipel. Christopher M. Scaboria. Savannah R. Sell. Luke R. Scaboria. Lila E. Shade. Dominico Scotto Deluzio. Ariana R. Shuka. Alexander D. Selig. Mahasan Silla. Ricardo M. Senek. Maya Angela Sims. Tanner D. Schaefer. Rachel A. Snyder. Caleb. J. Shunk. Emily E. Sockle. 
Ryan B. Snyder. Jasmine Soto. Antonio C. Sparacci. Morgan H. Specht. Nathaniel R. Stein. Rachel L. Spiker. Michael J. Stout. Matthew G. Strats, Jr. Lexi I. Spudino. Chris Roman and Aaron. Chris Roman. Valerie N. Staub. And Aaron Sa Michael Sadrovitz. Thank you. Julian Sarla. Good evening. My name is Josie Whitney. I teach third grade at Lorraine Elementary School. My name is Robert Wickstrom. I teach English at the senior high school. It is our pleasure to introduce to you the following graduates. Katrina E. Stump. Justin J. Strauss. Grace Ann Sturz. Harrison R. Strunak. Faith A. Sylvain. Isaiah R. Summers. Jenna E. Torres. Jacob Jack Summers. Madeline Chaconis. Samuel A. Swestock. Madison Michelle Bolonio. William A. Timberlake III. Cassidy C. Van Gary. Daniel V. Ulrich. Jerry Lynn A. Vega. Julian Enrique Velez. Abby Ray Weller. Nicholas T. Von Spreckelson. Katarina M. Whitman. Curtis M. Waltmeyer. Jacqueline V. Wilson. Brian W. Ward. Caitlin Ann Wooten. Nolan H. Watts. Brielle Wright. Gage Michael Whitman. Emma M. Wright. Ethan J. Wiggins. Julie R. Yakeley. Sky T. Wilder. 
Kylie Ann Yost. Christopher R. Whithart. Naomi Zalici. Charles Nicholas Wolf. Jessica Zerby. Ian Wytowicz. Thomas Wyatt. Daniel C. Wiley. Anthony Zabala. Jonathan Zapacosta. Valedictorian Noel F. Narvaez. Salutatorian Michelle Y. Wong. Class President Tanishka Talagata Devi. Thank you. Thank you. Will everyone please rise and join the Eagle Heirs for the singing of the first verse of the Alma Mater. You guys ready? <laughs> to signify the beginning of a new chapter and a change in our designation from students to alumni. Class of 2019, please move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations.